On the 15th of April 1989, 96 football fans would go to a football match and never return. This would go on to be one of the biggest footballing disasters in the history of the sport. Four days later, the Sun would produce a front page which would go down as a huge low point in British journalism history. However, the people of Liverpool have not forgiven or forgotten their portrayal. I don't think the Sun can ever repair its reputation in Liverpool. It's gone on too long, the wound is too open, is too deep I think for it ever to heal. Um, as time moves on and as decades pass, I suppose there will be generations that grow up that need educating about why the sun is as despised still as it is on Merseyside uh, and about what happened at the time and why it has earned that reputation and in inverted commas that it has. Um, so time will move everything on as it does but you know it's it's an important lesson in history that we must never for forget in the immediate aftermath of the Hillsborough disaster when this city was brought to its knees like never before and those poor families and not just those that, that lost people but all those who knew people who'd been lost in the disaster um, or who were injured or knew people that were injured it was a collective monumental grief and at the very time that the city was broken in a state of collective shock, the Sun newspaper conspired to publish, I think what most people acknowledge is the worst front page in British journalistic history, claiming that the fans were effectively criminals uh, in terms of pickpocketing bodies, urinating on bodies, and it was a bombshell that hit this city and those families in particular in the solar plexus by what was um, Britain's best-selling newspaper. For that reason, and given everything that has followed and the uh, behaviour of its uh, disgraced editor, Kelvin McKenzie, the Sun newspaper has never been forgiven, not just because of what it did, because it's hard to forgive and certainly the city will never forget what it did, but it's never issued what I think any Liverpool fan, any Liverpool person, and any Everton fan for that matter, uh, anyone connected with the city, and in fact any decent person in the UK um, regards to be a proper um, heartfelt and sincere apologies. There have been one or two attempts, but I think most people, myself included, believe that they've been self-serving attempts just to get its custom back and to repair some of its own reputation. I don't think the Sun has ever really said sorry and ever properly meant sorry. Certainly it's not an apology, if ever it has been truly made, that has been accepted by the people of this city. A pretty unique city, Liverpool, in many ways. A real identity about Liverpool as a city. There are fierce arguments among people who live in the city all the time, political debates. But uh, when uh, its reputation is besmirched like that, um, it comes together. And there have been other cities affected by disasters, uh, Bradford, Glasgow, of course. But you don't take on the people of the city of Liverpool in that way and get away with it. I think any city would have rallied and responded I'm not sure that any city would have rallied and responded and responded for so long and so determinedly as Liverpool did and has done.